from my city to ever get a deal. It's a small place of 170,000 people. Nobody knew nothing about it. The people who showed it to them, to him, I showed it to them. They would have never stayed in this place long enough to do shit except sign me and leave. But I brought them back there and moved them there. So at that point, I introduced people to my city that could connect the dots and go back and get the people from their city and come back and show them what they could make happen in this place. So if you say if you say God erase Hurricane Chris right now, you erase all of that. Still think if you erase Hurricane Chris, Fifty Cent could still go online and see what cheap properties is at. He could still see Shreveport and decide to go down there and start a movie and start a um, studio. This building that's my building. that's what I believe, bro. This building was a building that was owned by the state. The guy that I introduced to the city got cool with the city and the state, so he was able to get access to this type of stuff and and able to go back and offer it to him. It was offered to him. It wasn't nothing that he looked up on a list and nothing like that. It was offered to him by the people that I put in Shreveport. So basically, you you feel like it it wouldn't have been no way for him to get this done without without knowing your people's. So if you take somebody and introduce and, 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 you know, introduce them to somebody. Yeah, it's a possibility that people could have ran across each other. But what's the odds? Let's speak about the odds. What's the chances? Nobody ever came here. Nobody ever. Nobody ever came to Shreveport to do nothing. You got to think I'm the only artist to even get a major deal from my city. So I know the scope of, you know what I'm saying? What's been going on? Now, Chris, I have another question from the chat. Um, and this question asks, is from, um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to scroll back up to get it. Give me a second. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. This question is from Uptown. And his question to you is, how can you criticize 50 Cent for? You, you cut out. I can't hear you. Hello? Did she get a call? Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Where is hey, she Hurricane man? Chris, if 50 gave you a job, would you take it? it if it's something that I feel like is a, you, what kind of, what you mean a job? I'm, what you mean? What you mean by that? I just mean any type of job, local stand, uh, anything. Who? Any type of job. Like any type of job. Why, why would I take any type of job? Because you need the money. Get your bitch ass up and eat a dick hoe ass. Nigga, I got a hundred, a hundred thousand on my wrist right now. You should watch who you talking to. Nigga, watch a dick in your mouth. Who you? I'm, a, I'm live like that, boy. No, listen, predator. Say I'm fuck your mama, nigga. You. Put a dick fuck in your, your mama, mama mouth, nigga. Your, and your grandma, and your too, grandma. nigga. And your granddaddy, too, nigga. Shut, Shut your, your whole ass up, nigga. You just this whole ass, 50 man. cent acting like, oh, why, this nigga why got you can't come down there? Use the bitch, nigga. Man, miss stop this nigga acting for like, nigga. Stop acting like, nigga, you like that, you hoe ass nigga. You just a broke ass nigga, nigga. Your money went when your hairline went, mute bitch. This nigga. Loose. Shut up, bitch. They ain't gonna mute shit, nigga. Hoe ass nigga. Stop playing. You I'm gonna fuck your dead nigga. grandma grave, nigga. Shut up, nigga. I'm fuck your city, your nigga. Grave, bitch. Nigga. I'm gonna piss on your city, dead granddaddy, bitch. nigga. And your That's dead grandma. That's why 50 Cent gonna take this. Shut up, hoe ass nigga. Shut up, hoe ass nigga. Like a bitch, nigga. You a Stop bitch, dick pulling, nigga. nigga. And keep my you dick act, out your mouth, hoe ass nigga. Like you. you like dick in your mouth, don't you, bitch ass nigga. You like dick in your mouth, hoe ass nigga. Fuck that dick, bitch ass nigga. Fuck that dick, bitch ass nigga. Open that mouth and suck that dick, hoe ass nigga. You ugly ass, little ass, bitch ass nigga. Shut up, bitch. Eat that dick up, bitch. Open that mouth, hoe nigga. Let that dick spit in your mouth, bitch. Only gay niggas talking about telling me. Spit on your mouth, bitch. Oh, oh, bitch. Shit, get your tongue out, bitch. Bitch ass nigga, lick your fucking tongue out. Lick your tongue out, bitch ass nigga. Open your mouth, fuck where I can feel your throat, bitch ass nigga. Open that mouth. Open that mouth wider, bitch. 
Nobody fuck with Open that mouth wider, you bitch nigga. Open your fucking mouth up, nigga. You broke. Open your mouth for a nigga to knock your tonsils back. You should be taking anything, bitch. Keep that mouth open. Keep that mouth open. Keep that dick. Look how that nigga eating that dick up. How Let's get back to the interview. Let's get back to the interview, y'all. Come on, come on. Let's go, y'all. Oh, nah, shit, y'all. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Hey, y'all got yo. time? Hey, got come on, time. y'all. You cut yeah, got hey, bitch. Yo, yo, we gonna get back to this interview, y'all. Let's go. Oh shit, y'all. Welcome to the one hundred NT late night show. If y'all new to the room, thank y'all for coming through. This is the one hundred NT show on the one hundred side of the clubhouse sap. I appreciate all y'all for coming up, man. Y'all see what the fuck going on right now? Y'all see what Ankwak one hundred got going, man. He brings Hurricane Chris, Mr. A Bay Bay, to the one hundred side of the clubhouse sap, man. Look, if y'all new to the room, y'all got those pink tickets. Is on your profile. We need y'all to go up top, join the club, join the greenhouse, follow the moderators on stage, raise your hand, and we will free y'all out the goo wop. Man, you want to come up here, change those PTRs, man? We got Mr. Hurricane Chris himself live on the 100 side of Club House app, man. We about to get back into this interview. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Salute. Any more questions? Let's go, man. Real questions, not niggas who want to argue with Shut another nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Yeah, this nigga oh, gay nigga. as fuck. Shut Y'all up, ain't got bitch. nobody else to talk to. I got to talk to Shut this nigga the, the whole up, time. Bitch. God hey. damn, cuz. Nah, Hurricane. <clears throat> I gotta talk to this nigga the whole time. Nah, AB trying to ask you a question. Hold on. AB trying to ask you a question. Go ahead, AB. Go ahead, AB. So, Hurricane, I know that um, we've asked you this, um, acting, music, do you think that you'll ever have a hit as big as A-Baby, A-Baby? Nobody ain't gonna ever have a hit as big as A-Baby. A song lasts for three months now. You, that's like asking Michael Jackson if he gonna ever have a song bigger than Thriller. I ain't saying it's the size of Thriller. We're not comparing that, but what we're saying is... Some records you ain't gonna make again. Some records like you ain't that like it's not gonna happen. Some like shit was Gary, part of that. Some shit was a part of that time. Like a record not gonna a record not gonna get that big. Like I sold millions of actually actual hard copies. Now you're gonna do digitals and downloads. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying a record not gonna don't have a possibility of that, ain't but I'm just saying. You feel me? None of your music, it's a bitch. different game nowadays. It's yeah, a, it's different, a different game. game now. Hey, like a game. record don't yeah, really yeah. last that long. How, yeah, how you feel yeah, about yeah. your uh, A-Bay Bay getting some uh, some play on TikTok? I see a lot of people doing a little TikTok thing. Man, that shit lit. But what I be most psyched out is, you know, I just gave like Sexy Red the biggest singer she ever had. Are you going to say Sexy Red that is on? Pound Town. Nah, you know, Pound Town is my song. It's Halle Berry, Hurricane Chris. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Okay, I gotta ask. Okay, listen. I know you said Pound Town. That's a sexy red song. I gotta ask. Not you Pound Town. Not Pound Town. Mm -hmm. um, not Pound Town. It ain't Pound Town. It's um, it's the the, the last one she just dropped. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, that shit. Oh, you talking about Get It Sexy? Yeah, Get It. Yeah, that shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Chris, I do have a question. Hold on. Now, you know, Sexy, just she coming out with her line, okay? You just gave her this song, right? You going to buy Dre, it? your mic uh, muffled a little. Oh, man, I got my beats in. Hold on. She's still there. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Oh, there you I go. I have to get my big mic. And so then, I'm you know what's crazy is... What's I hate I, niggas that say they would have found the water. Soul. You lead, you can lead a nigga to water. Don't you hate to hear a nigga say, I would have found it without you? After you just watched the niggas thirsty and you led his ass to a lake of water. Don't you hate to hear a nigga say, I probably would have found it without you? Nigga, just shut up and say thank you, nigga. Give a fuck what you would have found without me. You found this with me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> niggas got life and bullshit all fucked up, man. I don't know who daddy raised half of these un motherfucker. These niggas can't think, man. 
That's why most of these niggas get smacked in the mouth when you're dealing with real niggas, because you don't even know how to say thank you. You, know, nigga, you got a nigga on here talking about, he would have just found it. What? You, so you don't tell niggas thank you when they do nothing for you? You tell them you would have did it? Hey, man, them type niggas got to stay far away from me. I don't deal well with no nigga who can't, you know what I'm saying, just keep it G. I ain't got no problem telling a nigga, man, I appreciate that for introducing me to such and such. I made $10 million. I don't give a fuck if you just said, hey, this is such and such. If I make ten million with him, I'm gonna tell you I appreciate you for introducing me to him. I ain't finna see him and say I would have met him. I would. You don't think I would have met him? That's bitch shit. That's whole shit. You know, nigga need to keep it G. Nigga need to learn how to keep it G and be a man. I'm gonna start being your nigga's daddy on my, on my spare time. Teach you niggas how to be a man. I have a question for you, to you niggas. I got a question for you, beloved. If you can teach or get a youth a lesson or some advice in your community or anywhere else that want to be upcoming rappers or whatever they want to do in life, what would you give them? What's the advice you would If you want to be a rapper right now, you need to do content. It's shit so easy right now. Make songs and record yourself while you rapping that shit on the mic in the studio and continue to post that shit to TikTok. Bro, you could go in the studio and record yourself rapping 20 of your shit, and that'll be enough content to last you for two months. You could keep posting 30 second clips of that on TikTok every day on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and all your platforms. Keep doing that shit daily. Like, that's that's an active way to build your fan base. Everybody be trying to do all this extra magical, spend all your money shit. I just believe in continuing to put out their content if you want to do this music shit. They want to see it. Hey, um, Chris, um, with the, you know, the, the charge or whatever, like, do you think it was a setup or it just was some random shit? What's that? Uh, you know the case. You know you beat the case. I'm saying like. The I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's some shit that I had trouble. Like I had trouble with that in my head a lot. When I be when I be thinking about this shit, you know, I really be I really be thinking about that. What's that like? You know, was motherfucker following me the whole time? What? And it's fucked up because I wasn't paying attention before that shit, and I really don't know if a nigga was following me. I got another question for you. If you was in a position to make a change in your city or in your state, what would that change be in your city or your state? Um, I think it's giving the youth some got a lot of free time. And if we could figure out how to figure out, if we could find out how to see what these youth would be interested in, what they what they will, you know, what a spark their interest. If we could get them interested in some shit, my seals, a lot of my little cousins ain't interested in shit by uh, the brand new AR or the, or the new Draco. How many shots that bitch hold? And, and like, so I'm trying to spark their mind, like, and get them interested in shit. Like, what you could, what you feel like you good at, bro? Like, what you, what what can you do? Like. I think we gotta we gotta we gotta move about it in that manner. Like we gotta spark some interest in these youngsters, bro. Get them in football. Get them. My little boy play. I keep them doing something. Like you gotta get them involved in shit, bro. And you gotta be involved too. If you got youth, if you got youngsters, a daddy hey, gonna hey, have hey, to be there. With. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have another I, question for you, beloved. Right? Okay. We on, we we know you got a bay bay. You got uh headboard. You Play got the, Halle Play Berry, Play 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 okay, Play Holly Berry, Players Rock, right? Do you think, or are you making any songs that you think that'll be on those level as those songs? Or is your career over, or are you gonna come out? And then uh, my my follow up question is, how much would you charge for future for artists, right? When I be getting features from artists, I really don't be trying to give them no big stupid price if they independent. Like sometimes I have a cat come to me and he might not have nothing but two thousand twenty five hundred and he got this his last twenty five hundred. I'm a, I drop him a little verse if, if I'm in a, most of the time I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. I get it I get it done. Like I, I really don't be trying to rob nobody pockets. I kind of feel bad on watching somebody you know just go for broke trying to trying to pay me. I understand the struggle. You know I've been there before. Now, now, Chris. But with the music, read, shit, with the music shit, like my catalog makes so much paper to where I don't have to put out music. But like, I just put out Hurricane Season Two, that mixtape. I just put that out probably like 
you know, a few months ago. That shit doing good. I got another one cocked back I'm finna release. So it's like I kind of could just sit back and drop shit here and there whenever I get ready to. And that bag just it just keep rolling because my catalog so heavy at this point. Okay, so Chris, hey. I read about you saying that you um, you you was in a mood, and then you just mentioned again a mood. Tell me about your different moods. I'm I'm interested. Sometimes I have a mood like with that nigga who just talking. He don't understand you talking to a nigga who gonna disrespect you if you be disrespectful. Like I'm gonna talk that I'm gonna talk that shit. Like I'm a I'm a match your energy. Whatever it is, I got I got something that's gonna move my spirit to make me move however I need to be. I could be respectful. You know, uh, uh, we 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 could just act like we don't give a flying fuck. You know, so it, this shit could. I'm a move. I'm I'm water. I'm a fit where I need to fit in and move based on how I need to move. Like, I receive energy real well. I take energy real well. So you know. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw out just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only. Straight No Chasers.